Hello and welcome to another Simplified Astro video and today we're going to be looking at Sequence Generator Pro's fantastic Meridian Flip module. Now before you can embark on doing a Meridian Flip there's a couple of things that you're going to need to do. First and foremost you need to know exactly how far past the Meridian your particular mount can track before you start running into problems such as um, peer collisions and so on. Now you can do this in either degrees or time, it will eventually equate to time within Sequence Generator Pro but you can work it out by how many degrees you go past and that then equates to roughly 4 minutes per degree. So if you can track 5 degrees past the meridian then you, you can go for 20 minutes past uh, as far as the meridian flip module is concerned. Now there's also um, care needs to be taken to make sure that there's no settings within your ASCOM software such as EQ mod limits. So if your limits are set at 3 degrees past but you want to track 20 minutes it's not going to happen because that will be 5 degrees past and, and you'll end up hitting the, the mount limit before the meridian flip happens. So just take time to look at your particular mount software and make sure that you are happy that you can track the amount of time passed that we're going to set later um, within the, the module settings. Okay, so once we're happy with that, we're now going to have a look at setting up our Meridian Flip. So we open up the control panel and we have a look under our telescope tab. And the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that the tick box for Use Auto Meridian Flip is checked. Once that's checked, we go into the settings button and we now have a pop-up box with the various settings that we need to look at. Probably the most important checkbox on this pop-up will be the weight for Meridian checkbox. Now the best way to uh, explain what this does is probably to give you an example. Now let's say that from earlier we've calculated that our mount can track for a maximum of 10 minutes past the Meridian before we start running into problems. But we're taking 15 minute narrow band exposures. Well now if we don't have that checkbox ticked we've potentially got a problem because we could start our next exposure at 3 minutes before the Meridian flip which means that Sequence Generator Pro will carry on an image 12 minutes past the meridian well we know we've got a problem at 10 minutes so we're going to do one of two things we're either going to have a peer collision or if you're lucky and you've set limits you're going to hit your mount limit so in this instance where your maximum length of exposure is longer than the maximum time that you can track past the peer you need to have that checkbox ticked because you need sequence generator pro to use the information that you put in this little box here and this is the maximum time that you've calculated from earlier so in this case you would have 10 minutes in there you would tick on the box to wait for the meridian flip and if the length of time of the next exposure is longer than this period of time uh, sequence generator pro will just wait it will calculate that and it will wait you could argue that you'll waste 10 minutes but it's better that than um, having a peer collision so that is a really really important feature that you need to work out first now we'll just back out of this settings box and I'll quickly show you that um, for this example all that I've done is just selected a random target somewhere up near the, the meridian um, just to show you the flip actually happening and you, you'll see from the um, the box over here that we've we've got around about three minutes to go until the flip now I'm taking 30 second exposures, so we're, we're quite close to it. And I've also set up my CCTV in my observatory so that you can see the, the mount tracking and see what it does during the meridian flip. It's quite clever, it's quite nice to watch it happening and it, it's also very satisfying when it does happen. So what I'm going to do is I'll fast forward the video from this point until just before the meridian flip and we'll come back and watch the flip taking place in a couple of minutes. And welcome back, and we're just about to carry out the Meridian flip, and there it goes. So the very first thing you'll see that Sequence Generator Pro does is take a plate solve image and do a solve and sync of its current position. Um, 
it will sync with your planetarium software and it then stops the auto guider and then carries out the flip so you see now the mount is moving right away to the other side of the pier and when it gets there unless your cone error is absolutely zero which is highly unlikely it will be out it won't be pointing in exactly the same place as it was before the flip now because of this i have auto centering after meridian flip checked in the settings because i want to carry out the centering routine afterwards so that i know i'm in exactly the same place as i was before the flip happened now the amount of attempts that it takes to do this is largely dependent on your mount uh, with the mesu 200 it's a very very good mount so it it typically is um, doesn't take many attempts to do it generally minor two attempts so the first attempt will almost certainly fail and you'll see in the dialog box down here that it will come up foul and it will tell you how many pixels it's out and those are the settings that are, that are set in your um, plate solve software or your plate solve module um, for me generally it's two so you'll see there my first attempt has failed tells me how many pixels I'm out it will now move the mount to where it, it thinks it should be now based on that plate solve image and normally for me after this attempt it will work um, hopefully it will I don't normally have but it, it's not unusual to go two three four even five attempts depending on your mount so don't worry too much about this the point is you need to be there in the end so mine has has worked there and now it's restarting um, the auto guider software and this again depends largely on your kit how long it takes with a mesu 200 um, it really doesn't take too long because it's quite a stable mount so um, typically 10 seconds or so and this will, will restart so there we are my auto guide has restarted the countdown dialog box now comes up and then once that's timed out we're now ready to restart that's it the, the imaging is restarting now you'll see the integration carrying on so I'm now imaging on the other side of the pier with the meridian flip carried out perfectly now the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that the image on the screen now is actually upside down compared to the image before the meridian flip don't worry about that it's perfectly normal obviously we're now facing the other way your processing software will take care of that when you uh, come around to registering and stacking your images so um, just carry on with that and, and everything will get turned up the right way uh, during the processing now one thing I'd like to mention is if you're using EQ ASCOM then in your sync drop down box make sure that this is set to dialog mode and not to append on sync. Now this is really important because if it's set to append on sync you can run into problems with the Meridian flip so that needs to be set to dialog mode. Now hopefully this video has been helpful um, it's really quite difficult for me trying to set the videos at a level where you've got enough information to get on but but trying to make what on the face of it looks like a really complicated subject not so complicated because the meridian flip whilst there's lots that appear to be going on is actually reasonably simple once you've got those few settings done it's a it's very much an automated process it just goes ahead and and does its stuff and it's a very very good thing but if i've missed stuff out or if there's stuff you you want more information on please uh, feel free to put a note in the um, the comments boxes below i'll try to answer and if if i need an updated video then i'll do an updated video and that's not a problem so hopefully it's been helpful and i'll see you in the next video bye